TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday morning, 30 minutes to go until the start of trading. And we got markets in negative territory to kick things off. The S&P is negative by 14 points right now, trading at 36.76. The Dow off 92 points, 29,965. NASDAQ negative by 30 points, 12,565. And the Russell off by eight points as well at 1883. Gold continuing to catch a bid up three dollars at eighteen sixty nine. You've got silver down ten cents at twenty four sixty eight. Crude negative twenty eight cents, still above forty five dollars at forty five forty nine. And notes and bonds continuing to rise with a little bit of a lower yield. We got the ten year right now up five ticks at one thirty seven twenty eight. The thirty year up seventeen ticks at 173.02 and we'll kick things off with the second second richest man in the world uh getting a little bit lighter in the wallet but they're raising five billion dollars tesla the headline as we jump over to it tesla raising five billion dollars in the third share sale this year so they'll do it at what's called an at the market offering program so they'll be selling right into the market tesla up 670 percent this year not bad when the market trades down only about 15 bucks we're just back to where we were middle of the day yesterday meanwhile the companies raised about five billion dollars through those share offerings uh, can't blame them for taking some cash to put in the coffers at a valuation of this level what else we got going on stimulus stimulus still at the forefront you have the senate majority leader mcconnell refusing to endorse bipartisan stimulus some woes you may feel some of that pain today folks if more headlines come out that stimulus may not be coming down the line and the vaccination process across the globe begins in the uk today with a 90 year old woman getting the first covid vaccine in the uk we also have news making its way out from the fda process in the u.s as the pfizer covid vaccine data did not raise any safety concerns that looks to be in line to get emergency yeah with guidance for emergency use so that looks to happen probably on thursday i was seeing as the fda said tuesday the data from the vaccine trial did not raise any specific concerns so in briefing documents published ahead of an advisory meeting thursday to review pfizer's vaccine the fda staff also said data submitted was consistent with recommendations put forth by the agency for emergency youth use authorization so that looks to be in line as well stay tuned folks we got larry coming up next and don't forget Larry, tomorrow morning, you can still sign up, folks. Five hours, live trading session. Get some Tiger dollars. Get in Larry's class tomorrow. He's coming up next. We'll be right back.